with a grateful heart Give thanks to the Holy One Give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His Son Give thanks with a grateful heart Give thanks We give you praise for a special time in your presence. Now pray for grace. The general overseer of this church will say you are welcome. Thank you and thank you because you are good, because you are kind. When I sing upon your goodness. And your faithfulness is there. this morning no, thank you, Jesus. it's not because we are too much we are giving you praise for pouring out yourself for us in Jesus name we pray by the grace of God I choose to share the word first then we are going to worship God and see a downpour of power because I trust him hallelujah today has been titled a super Sunday Oil of greatness. Amen. Amen. Oil of greatness. Amen. How many of us desire an oil to be great? You know, naturally, oil is one of the most expensive commodities on earth. Maybe after gold or whatever. You talk about oil. That is why it can be said that these are oil producing country you will not hear this one is a mango producing country or tomatoes producing country every country produce all these things but there are specific countries known as oil producing country 
Why? Because oil is a treasure. That is why this morning, God is going to package somebody with a heavenly treasure. In the name of Jesus. That is the oil of greatness. Our pattern is here. There must be something we must know and something we must do. We look at the examples of men that were there and men that are still there. How they pass through, what they undergo, and how they were able to excel in their generation. And today, our topic says, do what they did. Do what they did. Do what they did. If you want to know how a man survived in a certain or in a particular area, you must ask questions. That is why we have teachers in school teaching us, understanding what it means to excel in a particular field. So, from Genesis to Revelation, there were men of greatness filled with the oil of God, achieve so many things they make a great stand and impact in their generation and even on this earth as of today there are still people making impact in this generation which we believe that aligning understanding what they did can also make us part of the frontliners in this world i see you getting there in jesus name the back is not for you the back is not for me we are created for the front we are pathfinders trade blazers we design route for others to follow i see you being enlisted among such people this morning in jesus name what they did we want to take a man in the bible a great man of god we take examples from the bible because we are christians there are people who are great all around greatness from God there are people who have greatness of the world so we compare ourselves with the greatness of people who through faith subdue kingdoms tear the mouth of lions follow their footsteps Saint Paul said follow our examples as we follow Christ so this morning we want to take a man from the Bible and call today's service today's word on him today's preaching today's service on God today's word on him and call it from the story of Abraham. Amen. Genesis chapter 12, just 1 and 2. Now the Lord has said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shall be a blessing. The power of God is here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For you are glory. Don't stand up. Don't stand up. We will preach first. God bless you. Okay. For you are glorious. And worthy to be praised. You are the light of God. Jesus. Lord, help me to teach. Lord Jesus. Ali Bosha, Sali Abrado, Shala Brado, Shah. Bari Bosha, Ali Ato, Sara Bosh. Anne Yelebo, Shara Brado, Shat. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus. Ali Bosha, Sara Brado, Shah. You can worship God. Let's rise up. Oh, 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 
cross standing outside the city on the master Lord Jesus the expressions of the father's loom he was wounded for my transgression he was bruised for my iniquity the chastisement of my pills was upon him by his rights we will by his word we can anywhere in this house. Come on, Ali Abu Shala, brother. Lift up your hands, Ali Abu Shala, Abu Shala. And the lele shule bo sala. Aye, lele lele, aye lele 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 lele. And the lele shule ya lele lele. Iya la bo shala lele lele lele. Kavari, kavari.
name we pray. Let's clap for Jesus. Please make sure you check yourselves, the ones that feel pain. You realize that there is no pain, let us know before the end of the service. If it is the one you can know immediately. Praise God. The making of a king has a process. So what did they do? What they did? What they did that they become who they are to the spirit of the living God? Help me to release your word this morning in Jesus' name. The making of a king has a process. Becoming a frontliner has a process. And the Bible calls us kings and queens. To be great has a process and is a reality that that process must be followed if you must become who God has made you to be. What did Abraham do? That is what we want to look into this morning. What Abraham did that the whole world today still talk about him. What did Abraham do? Number one. From the place we read in Genesis chapter 12 from verse 1. God said, Abraham, and the Lord said to Abraham, get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that I will show thee, and I will make of thee a great nation. I will bless thee. What did Abraham do? Number one, Abraham obeyed the voice of God. When God said to him, leave Haran and go to a place I will show you, Abraham was not stubborn to God's voice. Abraham took a step out of Haran and God said, I will make of thee a great nation and I will make you great. If we must be great, we must be able to listen to what God is saying. You might not hear his voice from heaven. Certainly you will hear his voice in your heart. You might not hear his voice sounding from above. Certainly you will know when God says it is over in Haran. You will know what is Haran. Haran is your normal place of abode. Haran is a normal way you have been, normal place you have been, normal system you have operated. Haran was where his parents were. Haran was where his family were living. Haran was their home. Haran was a normal place. Haran was a place where he had friends, where he had loved ones. Haran was his usual place. Just as many of us, when God says step out, you say, how can I leave these people alone? That is Haram. The start of greatness is number one, very difficult. Why? You are looking at people you are friends with. People you have been with for a long time. And now you are not having a conviction step out. What are you going to tell the people? Haram is a place where you have been okay. This is the way it has been done. This is my family setting. We grew up together and been valued the early boy setting. Haran is a place where you feel comfortable but not actually comfortable. You conform in Haram. It's a place you conform to the status quo. This is the way it is. How will it be that I will not step out? Don't you know it's not easy to step out? A lady said to me about two or three weeks ago, I met her on the way and said, Ah, Pastor. He said, Can you pray for me? Not a member of the church. So I'm praying for you already. He said, God has told me to meet you. He said, But I can't. He said, Where I am, I can't just leave. I said, hey, We are talking about destiny. I said, May God have mercy on you. Simple. Because we only have one life to live, not two. If I misuse this life, I become useless to my generation and to God. Only one life, and you are playing with it. Why? Because before then she called me, said she had put herself in fasting and prayer. And after he said, I am only praying because revelations for more than two years have shown that you I follow you to a place and I met great people and you were teaching me what to write. As I was writing, a great man called you. He said, I said, Glory, I come. He said, I said, wait to meet that great man of God. Another person came and said, Who brought you into this level? Who brought you here? And she said, It is Gloria that brought me. He said, Yes, you don't belong to this great group. You can't be here. And what she was writing for me, because I was not there, she turned it and left. But the time she opened her eyes, I said, Abomination. Abomination. 
Someone took you to somewhere. And I turned back. I said, did you vow to God you have nothing to do with me? He said, I never. I said, something is wrong. Somewhere. Before more revelations. When she entered fasting, I said, there is nothing to pray for. I've been convinced. But I need to step. Eh? However, it's just an example. Because most of us have been through that. My brother, stepping out is not a joke. It's not easy. When God said to me to step out, me myself said, for we are to go and restart, when I'm being respected, everybody value me to start to step into dry ground. I said, Lord, for we are, but God told me that it's not a man that should lie. He told you, you are not an ordinary member, you are going to go and build destinies. You are talking here. God make me like a mad woman. When you are talking, I sit in the church, I'm not seeing anything. A brother met me, you are looking at us like television that is not clear. I said, actually, yes. I'm not seeing anything. And nothing is clear. Nothing is clear. Until God pulled me. I said, Lord, I'm sorry. Let me go and faith. Since everybody believes I will faith, stepping down. Let me better go and faith so that I can have peace. But did I faith? What you fear is not real. They said fear, and a man called it an acronym, false evidence appearing real. It was God, then God told me that fear is failing exam after reading. That year, God gave me a failing exam after reading. You write though, but when you reach to write, tension come. That was when I took my destiny. I said, I have one life to live. When you send me, I will answer. When you call me, I will follow. When you send me, I will answer. I'll be somewhere walking for my God. That was when I said, I will have that faith that not to step in. I will have that step out. This is what Abraham did. You want to leave, my, leave your father? Leave where you were. Be. This is a place where you were brought up. God said, I don't use people. In some particular place, I always make a change so that they will feel me and respect me. It's God, though. <laughs> Does not share his glory with any man. It's God. Until you obey that voice. Until you obey. There are some specific things that will never come until you obey. In moment, not knowing where he was going. That's why we're talking about blessed is the man that obey him. When you read Deuteronomy 28, but you say, you that how keen unto the voice of the Lord to do what he commands you this day. How keen unto him. What is him telling you? And I told us last time that you don't need to be a pastor to hear God speak. As far as he loves you, as far as you are serving him, he must talk to you. He does not want you to make mistake. Our father, our physical, biological father, talk to all the children, to direct them. We are all his children. So, Abraham took a step. Number two, what did Abraham do? The place Genesis chapter 12, when we are reading verse 7. And the Lord appeared to Abraham and said, Unto thy seed will I give this land. And there built he an altar unto the Lord who appeared unto him. Now you see, when Abraham took a step, when he got to a place where God designed for him, the Lord appeared again. God spoke before and he took step. When he got to where God said go, he appeared. Most time we want God to appear before we take step into our life, into our destiny, even into business and work. The Lord speak once or twice I had him. Immediately, the Lord appeared to him and the whole thing that he did was Abraham built an altar. Built an altar. My brother, number one, you obey God's voice. Number two, build an altar for God. He said, ah, Pastor, do I need to make a mod? No. Building an altar for God means each place you step in, carry God along with you. Not going to a business office, nobody knows you know God. You don't keep Bible. I'm not saying you put it on your head. Don't let people go out as an unbeliever in some cases. And when you come to church, it's only when you are a believer. Abraham, first of all, built that an altar. Which means God, I carry you follow body. The more of the God you carry, the more of the opportunity given to you. The fact is that when we want to love men, we don't know that it is when you carry God that doors open on his own. I 
want to see people that bribe to get an appointment. Another person not bribe, he got favor. And they both shut up. People will bribe and bribe and bribe. Another man connect to heaven. Ali Bosha. Where the person bread to enter, a man with favor can say you are the one we have been looking for. Why? Because he carried God along. Immediately Abraham arrived. The first thing he did was to build an altar. Our Bible calls us that we are the temple of the living God. Which means any area you enter, enter with God consciousness. Enter as a believer, not as some believer. Let people know that you are a Christian. It's not easy. It is not by preaching it, it's not by singing it. But people know that you have something you believe in. Imagine you enter a Spanish office. The first statement that comes from his mouth is come in person, not be Dios. The first statement is cause. Because you are looking for favor, you ask a question, come well. Second thing, come well. Third thing, come well. And you prepare that so if you don't, he asks you, are you Christian? Abla, that Abla. Are you Christian? You say, make we talk first. We'll talk that one later. If you wait and he say, come well, before he come well, he grandma mama finish. Not be my dears. You tell and say, I say, I say, I say, people that know Spanish, don't cause God. As you call it, that one will not make him not to give you the contract. For you to defend God, make God to come in. And if God come in, who is a man? Baba said, the heart of a king is in his hand. Carry him along. That was what Abraham did. Anywhere he is, the know there is God. Immediately enter. He raised an altar. Value God. Accommodate God. Give God the space in your life. Give God the space in your house. Give God the space among your friends. Let people know that you go to church. Let people know that this one is a believer. I didn't say your time of work be preaching. No, a brother was sent to me, not in Spain. He came from Holland. Uh, uh, that he was preaching during the, the owner of the company said stop preaching do your work that he said if you like you sack me i said if he sack you you're on your own there is time for work there is time for preaching the time you used to preach with the man reduce the salary so don't use the man's salary time to preach your break time use it to preach if you don't want to rest don't think you're fighting god's work that's an unjust cause because the man is paying for that. Even if the man is a bishop, you can never use his working time to preach. Bible says there is time for everything. So, but what I'm saying is that let God know that you carry him. Let God know that you carry him. Number three, what Abraham did that we must do is want to be grace. Number three, Genesis 13, which is the next verse, 6 to 9. Genesis 13, 6 to 9. And the Lord was not able to bear them that they might dwell together, for their substance was great, so that they could not dwell together. And there was a strife, a battle between the headmen of Abraham, Cato, and the headmen of Lot, Cato. And the Canaanites and the Perdites dwelt them in the land. And Abraham said unto Lot, Let there be no strife, I pray thee, between me and thee, and between my headmen and the headmen, for we be bad. It's not the whole land before thee. Separate thyself, I pray thee, from me. If thou wilt take the left hand, then I will go the right. Or if thou depart to the right hand, then I will go to the left. Praise God. Abraham was a peacemaker. 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 And Bible said, Blessed are the peacemaker, for they shall hear it. Be the head. Imagine your cousin or your nephew you took along. Baba said they were not grown, they were not rich in cattle. They begin to strive. What did the man do? The man knew that there was God behind him. And the man said, You take where you like and leave the rest for me. You know what I always tell people? I said, if you know the God you carry, when people are striving quarterly, you are very calm. There is peace when you are genuinely serving God. Peace. Peace unspeakable. Abraham was so peaceful that he looked at Lot. He had the right to say, Lot, get out. He just looked at Lot and said, Lot, choose where you like. Why? Abraham knew that even if you carry him to a dry land, there is a fruitful God behind him. Abraham was 
was very sure of God, not of the Lord. That is why we must remove our mind from the Lord and put it on God. And God said to Lord, choose where you like. Choose anywhere. Anywhere that I remain, I will manage. Do you actually know that that is how to make peace? If two people want to walk in peace, somebody must act as a fool. If you see two friends quarreling every day, the two of them are the same. One does not want to give in to one. When you see two friends, I know them. There are people who see, even in family, there are two brothers or two sisters that are always quarreling. Two of them are the same character. This one will take no sense. This one will take no sense. It takes a man that takes no sense for pistol in. If I'm quarreling, you are quarreling. It's because I'm annoyed, you are annoyed. For that pistol, somebody must keep quiet. For pistol, this was what Abraham did. Abraham was a peacemaker. So if we must be great, the Lord said, and I will fight for you, you shall have your peace. Abraham believed in the God that will fight for him, not the land that was fruitful. Halibosha. That is why, first of all, you need to hear God. He had God from the beginning. He gave God the space in his life. So every other thing happened is working together for his good. When you give God space, you know you are for. I told him, I said, the reason why nothing moves me is because I know God is saying something. Have you done all to stand? Stand. If you have done your part, most times when God actually want to turn things around, the other say things that must be shaken shall be shaken. If there is no shaking, if nothing shakes, you will not see the power of God. There must be shaking. It is in the midst of shaking, people begin to fear God. Abraham didn't say, oh, this is a little boy I took along. How we let it? Bible said the Lord of Sodom and Gomorrah was green and fruitful. Abraham saw it. He still said, Lord, choose. Anywhere that remain, I'll pick. Our Lord chose all the green land. Longer truth, greed. He doesn't know green land without God is green suffering. Not they say Europe now, green lands, not be the color. I mean, but many not even yellow, talk less of green. We are going to a green land. Is this a green? What man they wrote the bed pan? The people here are not green. Uh, we are coming to a green land. It is greenish when you carry God along. Because the people in the land, they are fighting to beg one euro. If you were, when you were in Nigeria, the thing is a white man, they beg, you believe? Ha! Ah! People that are crossing the Mediterranean Sea now, if they tell the say as you arrive, you see the weather very hot, no food, nothing, we they ever believe, we they go and die in the sea. Look at Spanish on the streets. The man took the green land. Abraham said, Carol, go. He that is with me is greater than the green land. Because he's the creator. He is able to make the dry land green. But I said, he will make river in the desert. Leave desert for me. I carry and follow body. Desert become a water garden. Peacemaker. That was a follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man can see God. Hebrews 12 14. When you follow peace, God will stay with you. Because God will never be with you when you strive in your spirit. It is in the place of peace, God will say, Yes, why is this place so peaceful in adversity? Because if faith in the days of adversity, that strength is small. Proverbs 24 10. Lord, I'm peaceful because I believe in you. I told one of my beloved daughter, I think about last week, I said, If something, I said to him, to her, I said, I was so sure of what God was saying that if after God told me that, I said, If majority people have said, Okay, well, we are going, you know, and I will use broom sweep, say, God, I said, That's all they wait for you. Now you talk, now you are follow. If God speak, let everything shake. It not concern you. Because God just said something. And let all men be liar and let God be truth. My brother, follow God. Peacemakers. We know the end of Lot that chose the green land. When he entered green land, he said that the land was facially green. But the evil, 
behind, beneath, just like Spain. Just like this white land, the land actually is green. But the evil, killing every day, homosexual every day, evil under God is anointed. And when God is anointed of a land, nobody knows whether it is green anymore. May you find the message of God. That is why we are here, but we are not of here. We are on earth, but not of the world. We are in this land, but we are not of this land. We are not of this land. Bible says we are not even of the world. We are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus. So every cause in this land is not my portion. It's not your portion. As far as you don't partake of homosexual cause, you have no part in it. Our part is in the word of the law. Peacemaker. What did Abraham do? Number four. Separation from wrong people. And this is what I love, love actually. In the place we are reading in that Genesis 13, the verse 14 says, And the Lord said unto Abraham, after that Lord was separated from him, Lift up now thy eyes and look for the place where thou art northward and southward and eastward and westward. For all the land which thou seest today will I give it unto thy seed. Did you see that? When Abraham was still with Lot, when Lot was striving, the Lord was calm. Immediately they separated, the Lord said. Let me tell you the fact. Let me tell you one fact you may never, you will understand the life. There are people you are connected to, the voice of God becomes scarce. Aye. There are people you are connected to, you never hear God. You never hear God. When Jehoshaphat make affinity with Ahab to do business, take it was Ahab. He, he shot. When he wanted to follow him to war, first of all, he was to kill him. When they asked, okay, later, Joshua said, Mbano, bye bye. When Lord left, and the Lord said, You see this land, I will give you. So as far as Abraham was with Lot, you see, if Abraham was to keep on striving with Lot, he would have missed his destiny. These are principles, and God never changes his world. He can only change man. If man fell out, he bring another man. He will always talk to man. He will always speak to man. He will follow man. He will cancel man. He will talk to you. By the time you feel you are not loud, he will bring a little child. He said, I'm the one that gives you the wisdom. I will give somebody times two. Times two. To show you that you were nobody. I pick you from the doors. Imagine a person like me, come they do like this. Who I be? When I know that in my secret, I'm zero. Separation from wrong people. There are so many blessings of God that will never come. I know what I'm saying by experience. Some years ago, I had a great revelation where I was ministering, power flowing. I was not yet carrying title of pastor. Power flowing. I said, wow. Wow. Maybe by privilege, I will be the one to minister that day. By the time I come to minister, one person could just use a look like this. I know I use notes. I know I do like the anointing. I zoom. Don't finish. You go just talk, 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 you come out. It's not because God was not interested in you. Your atmosphere determines how far you can go. Because there are atmosphere that quicken people. There are atmosphere that kill you. When you try to I met another sister within the week. I said, I hope you are serving God very well. He said yes. I said, I hope you are still going to church. Say yes, so I did go, but I can't flow. I said, You will flow in Jesus' name. Oh, bye bye. That was a message. As a message, when you are in the midst of where I could envisage what Lot and Abraham men were passing through every day, quarreling. That is why when husband and wife quarrel every day, forget prosperity for that house, don't go. Prosperity does not thrive in the space of quarreling. Ah, in peace shall the blessings of God reign. If not, every day quarrel, mm, mad- madam, if a God push you. Just if you want your house to have prosperity and peace, not respond. Oh God, if Madame wake up, spirit enter her. Not let that spirit manifest in that home. Because the contract when they chase, now it won't stop. That was a bastard. If you understand this anti Bible said, give no place to the devil. He said, resist the devil. What is resist? Force. Resist the devil and we flew. Do you know what is resist? Push him out of the door. 
he will flew. Because anywhere children of God gather, the devil wants to gather. There is a new thing that is about to happen in family. You don't see my dad wake up, they complain. As I feel here, as I feel here, as I feel here, as I feel here. Oh, don't say you complain to my dad, say you know they give me time. There is no issue. You don't see my dad wake up. This my dad don't finish. We know that. Oh, God say, we call you this my Why you press up for here? Why you not press up for here? Not you. Now my queen break water. My dad said, oh, God, I don't do spaghetti. I don't think it's my spaghetti. Maybe they break and small, small. Why you cook and fufu fufu and put? You go swallow and go give your mama. Fight, come. Spaghetti. My clean spaghetti got water. Then before you know, they better not talk for one week. Not going to fall on the devil. When you see it up coming like this, the devil, I resist caliber. I resist you. There is no space in my own out. Devil go say, this one's not wise. You go just cry and go and say, This one wise. Bible said, He rose to a flow. You go for another mumu. That is why somebody must say no. That is why anywhere there is pepper body, that is why you understand where devil thrive. Go first of all, set one person body on fire. When they see you, they boy, they boy. You go to cook him. Go to boy, go to cook him more. Go to poop and go to go. Go to go. When you boy, 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 go say, Art. Go act like lioness. That will not be a portion in Jesus' name. Separate! The Bible says, lay aside those things that easily beset you. That's Hebrews 12. One. There are things that easily beset you. I tell you, any friend that, any time you go visit her, he must bring gist when they make you verse. Brother, sister, run. Anybody that says, any time you go visit her, he must bring something that make the tannins grow. Run! It's killing you for that day. By the time you leave there, you still wake up in the night to remember that word. When you want to have a bad dream, you have evil dream. Why? Because the hearts have been polluted. Separate from lots. Separate from things that withdraw you. I, I, I love the Bible verse that I've changed in my life. Proverbs 81. He said, A man true desire, having separated itself, secret and intermediate it with all wisdom. True desire, having separated himself. Seek it and intermediate. Enter with all wisdom. Did you hear that? All wisdom in any area. Wisdom. True desire. You separate yourself from hooligans, from vagabonds, from idle people, from chingum chuas that will drop a child in the school and go to a friend's house and go back in the evening to go and pick the child before coming home. Aye. Why will somebody take a child to school 9 a.m.? Put the child in the school from the school. Go to friend house. Join and break a goosey into the break for Europe. Join and do everything finish. Five o'clock from the friend house. Pick children. Is that what you come to do in Europe? I don't know. I don't know. It's our life. I wonder what you will gist. And did I saw a woman will go and gist as he husband before his high room? When discussion finish, you're not going to gist. When you just other friends finish, you're not going to tell your own. Go to your own now. God have mercy. Separate. If you must see future, you must go and walk your dictionary out. Separate yourself from wrong people. Somebody said, when you enter via, you learn to reason well. You must reason well. Because me, I reason well. Is it by force to be fresh? Friendship not force. Not be choice. Now we start together. Not be one that we meet. Ah, the ones who are afraid in Nigeria, you still see them now. If you want to show now, you are afraid of so many because genocide don't enter. Then you can't see one for Cassia. If you go Victoria and you never change friend, <laughs> why are you going to put for doing what I see for you? <laughs> huh? This mindset will help you. Why will I die for the way when I walk out in my love when they say I suck bomb here? With the rich world, meet them. That's when the rich world meets. Now you can't die. Put separate from Lot. And Lot can come. Lot was his cousin. Oh. There are so many women that we separate from their mother through telephone call. Your mother must not come and rule your home. There are so many men that we separate from their mother. You are not a boy, your boy. You are a man. Your mother must not teach you how to wife your wife. And how to husband your wife. There must be meta separation. Whether close or far. I will your friend. Come to your house and interfere into your wife, marital home. Impossible. Marriage is honorable and bed on the fire. 
is not meant for a third party. If husband and wife are quarreling, when a friend comes, the matter sees first. We eat first. When we go later, we, when he go finish with myself, well, don't settle it in his presence. Don't go say my friend waka come. For what? For what? What did waka come do? Huh? My friend waka come. What did waka come tell you? No! Imagine the friend he bear when I change face. When I just smile. In as much as the quarrel was not allowed, but if he enter, imagine somebody third party coming, whether a man or a woman, begin to talk about that thing. When he got finished, honey, you know we're discussing, you should learn some of it. Uh -huh. Let him go first. Let him go. Because he will never tell you that if he send out the husband, right, the wife, quarter, if he send out the wife, right, the husband, quarter, so what is the need? You know, no one start. I'm in the bedroom and I start. Was he there? Was she there? Any matter can start anywhere. It can start. So be careful. Don't allow them. I know they allow them. Oh. I'm teaching you what I'm doing. Five. Abraham separated. Number five. What did Abraham do? This is actually one of what will make us very great. What did Abraham do? That Genesis 13, where we are reading. Verse 15 says. For the land, for all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed forever. How many of us know that when God said to Abraham, to all the land which thou seest, to thy seed I will give it. Do you know that where Abraham was, Abraham could not have seen the whole world. How can God say, glory, I stand here. Even if God take me to mountain in Castile and said to me, look everywhere. Everywhere you see, I will give you. Can I see far? Physically, no. God was talking about as far as his mind can see. When God is telling you as far as you can see, what I am seeing now, I, I, I was telling somebody last week, I said, the person reminded me I love. The person reminded me, do I remember that I used to paint blackboards? No, they love me so much in this land. God will give me joy. He has already given me. Amen. The person told me, do I remember I used to paint blackboards? He said, I will use chalk and paint the blackboard on Saturday evening. And it was true. Saturday evening, when everybody has gone, I will grant coal. I will use charcoal. I will paint my board. Then I will, they actually laughed me. I said, this puppy today was a wardrobe. And it was. But I don't have me to shape it. We use the idea. Then I said, when I was using chalk to draw, I said to the person, why they were laughing me, I was not laughing myself, was that I was not seeing where I was. You see the picture? I said, that blood that they were seeing, that was not what I was seeing. I was seeing the revelation of what God showed to me. I said, I was not in that realm. So even if you were laughing, I was not interested. I was just trying to cross over from one face to another. But people thought I was joking. I would use God and write and play. And I said to the person, the, where I am now, I am no more in this realm. I'm trying to tell the life of Abraham and the secret of great people. Great people per time meet themselves in a particular level, but they are not in that level actually. If you remain in one level for long, you will be stagnant. You'll be stagnant. Even when your doings is still on that periphery, is still on that level, your mind has gone far. You are not seeing the next step to take. I can't be in this level again. I'm no more here. I am thinking of the next level. So no matter what you are seeing here now, it may give you joy. I have lost the test of this level. So that I can see far. Looking forward. He said, leaving these things that are behind and looking forward. So that you might attain. So if you stay, that is the secret of great man. God said to Abraham, look as far as your eye can see. Was it the seen far away? He couldn't have seen far, but there was something he was seen. And that is what make one man to be different. You see somebody said pure water for 10 years. Another person said pure water for one year, but next day don't have another thing, Jonah. It's the mind for sure. That is why the first one said wide mind. What great people do? What did they do? His mind was very wide. That is the world of imagination. He could see far. He could, and when you start seeing far, you start walking towards that thing. Just imagine, if you plan for wedding next year, 
Do you know that every preparation you are going to prepare is start from today? I always tell people, if you want to achieve something, pick a date. As far as you pick a date, that there is a deadline, you must meet it. You will not go and buy ordinary thing anymore and say something that will suit for that wedding. That is what it is. When the woman is prepared to marry next year, there are things in that start buying. It is not buying things for the new home. It is not buying things you used to buy 10, 15 years ago. Let me don't change in their mind. So, the secret of a great man is to live where you are from your mind and travel. So you can go and see where you are going. Because what you can't see, you can't get. Just know that where you cannot see, you can't reach. And where you cannot reach, you can't possess. I told us here, all of us, I gave an example one day. The supermarket that is very close to you. Each time you are going to that very supermarket to buy something. Maybe you want to go and buy a not oil. From your room, you know the position of that oil. Any supermarket you have entered, that is your permanent one, usual one. When you want to go and buy oil, do you go there to ask question again? You go direct. From your room, you are seeing that oil. You have not reached supermarket, but you have bought the oil in your mind. That is a wide mind. You see far. And the man that see far does not talk like others. If you are not careful, they will say you are proud. When others are still talking today, you are talking tomorrow. When others are telling you well, what we are seeing, you say, I'm not seeing what you are seeing. There is something I'm seeing. You say, I'm not the other first day here. The reality, this is not about yet. It's about the just shall live by faith. And faith is what you can see. That's what the Bible said. Abraham was a man of faith and he was imputed as righteousness. If you see empty chairs, pastor, your message will change. But if you are seeing the chair feed up, even when there is nobody, you preach as you used to preach. That's why you come to church, everybody went to invitation, whatever, whatever. Then you now come to altar and begin to talk. You change message on the altar. Lick a bush. It is that day that you'll be so forceful in preaching. Knowing that God didn't give you empty chairs. That is how it is in life. They look as if there is nothing, but there is something I saw in my revelation some years ago, and I must get there. Ah, I told somebody, I said, but there is something I see. I saw that thing, the ones I have saw have come to pass. The one when I see now, that is the one I'm chasing. As you follow diligently, it will come to pass. It's very dangerous to walk with empty mind. Very, very dangerous. Put your mind on God. And think of that place where you can reach with God on your side. If God be for me, who can be against me? Nobody. Nobody. Carry God. Don't carry man. If you don't hear anything. A few minutes ago, if I climbed, I saw this paper there that they share. And I just remember that when I wrote this paper, 2011, 2011, 2010, I wrote, I talk about their minds. And I just saw that I wrote here from Henry Keller, I said, for a blind mind, it's worse than a blind eyes. And I saw that I wrote everything about your mind. No most of us, when they give you this paper, please, you will understand there are so many things in it. Now, remember that I put some points here that you can never be better than the product of your mind. The quality of the life that you live is a product of how you maximize your mind. Every gain is a result of the productive use of the mind. If you never take a step, you never move forward. It is the use of the mind that will make your world to mind you. That your color is black does not mean your brain is black. Until your mind is transformed, your life will not be transformed. These are just few ones I read. Let's talk about the mind, about the power, about the future, about faith, and so many points here. I just saw it. Let me tell you. When we talk about the mind, it's what you can see. Number six. Genesis 14, 14, when we are reading, the Genesis 14, 14, Genesis 14, 14. Bible says, when Abraham heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his strength and were born in his house, 318, and pursued them unto them. Praise God. Another thing a great man does that Abraham did, a great man must learn to train men. Great man must train people for posterity's sake. And how do you start? Start from your home. A great man must train their wife. 
to be able to know. Don't travel out of business and your company fold. I've told us that so many great men have died. Immediately they died, the family relocated back to village. Why? Because the women were never taught. A great man must teach his household. What Abraham knew, he taught Isaac. What Isaac knew, he taught Jacob. What Jacob knew, he said that they were all on the same path. Really calm. That is why a father must start to teach his children what he knows. Don't be empty. Don't let your accent be felt. Whatever you know, you must train people. Bible said Abraham took 318 servants, people that were born in his house, trained ones, which means there were so many, 318 were trained. You see, men or not women, which means Abraham was having 1,000 plus servants, if not more than. If no, 300 are trained, 318 were trained out of his servants, and they were born in his house. So you can imagine how many servants he had. Because those men that could go to war, somebody have wives. And the wives have children, which are usually much. Oh, let God know how many servants Abraham was having. A great man, so we can be great as believers. Today, he took trains. Please train people. Bible speaking in 2 Timothy 2 2. 2 Timothy 2 2, very important. And the things that thou have heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Do you hear that? The things you have heard of me, commit to faithful men. It is not a man, don't commit to people that will go and bust your account and run away. Faithful men, commit that thing you know to a faithful person so that when you are not around, journey continue. There are people that when the lead, the manager or the owner, the MD is not around, you will never know. The company continue. But whereas MD not there around shortage. So it is a family. When daughters are growing, mothers taught them. You will not know who cook this kind of food. It is everywhere. You must train people to follow you. Train are the best people you must train must be people that are faithful. Now, if you want to get example people you must train. You see, these were people that were born in Abraham's house. They were faithful. People, which people did David train? Bible said David trained ordinary men, vain men, and they become mighty men of valor. What about Jephthah, vain men? Brother, don't try to train a man who knows better than you. He will train you. Okay? In your company, in your business, as you move on in life. Never you train a man who has a conflicting idea. He will conflict you and you will have a problem. Train people that are ready to learn. Do you remember because David, vain men, empty men. Do you know that his children that are easy to be taught? To teach an adult is easy. So we talk about children, people that come with humility to learn. That is why when our children start school, one more they are speaking Spanish. Take me to school for two years. I may not speak. Why? Because these are children. So when you want to train people to carry your future along, don't train somebody that will conflict. The vision you have, what you thought of, just like what Abraham saw with Lot. Don't train people that will strive with you because you will offer. Learn from Abraham. Learn from David. Learn from Jephthah. Train children in their mind. As they eat meek, they grow up to begin to chew bone. If you trade Confucianists, your business will fall. Your company will fall. Your family will fall. That is why when picking no passy papa, that ends the trading. When a small boy starts to get girlfriend, the papa trade it all over. Because you don't get companion or companion when they discuss. So you must trade before you pass that level. Praise God. Two more, what did Abraham do with that? We'll end up. Abraham in Genesis, that same 14, verse 18. And, and the king of the king of Saul brought forth bread and wine, and he was a priest of the Most High God. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abraham of the Most High God, Professor of Heaven and Earth. And blessed be the Most High God, which shall deliver the enemies to the hand. And he gave him tithe of all. Abraham had respect for covenants. Abraham was a great man because he respected covenant. God is a covenant keeping God. Immediately he tells you, do this, do it. Bible says he went to one, he came back, he gave every tithe he had to Mekizade. Mekizade was the Jesus of the Old Testament. He didn't have father, he didn't have mother. He gave everything to God. So, you must respect covenant. God said, give, give. Do like Job, who said, 
the, 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 the people saw me. I was an out of the blinds. And we, we taught it on Tuesday what Job did. He said, The cause that I don't know anything about, I fight. I made the widows to rejoice. If you read the account of Job in verse 2, in chapter 29, you thank God and see why God protected Job. Job will not see you suffering and pass you by. Job will not see you crying and not ask you what is happening. Job will not see a rich man beating a poor man and not fight for him. Job said, I was an eye to the blind. I, may, I did not allow the stranger to sleep on the streets. That was Job. And Satan took excuse to touch Job because Job was surrounded covered. The hedge of God was around him. I see God doing the same for you in Jesus' name. And lastly, becoming a great man, lastly, oil of grace. Oil. You see, have we done, that, done all our parts, we need the ability of God. If we do ours, there is the one that God alone can do. That is the oil of grace. That was what was done to David. When David was in the bush, and God needed to bring David to come and put him in the throne, he sent Samuel and said, go and put oil on him. That's what happened to Saul. Saul was just an ordinary man looking for the father's cow. And the oil comes upon his head. And he becomes a mighty man. And he becomes a prophet, protest, a, pro, a, a prophet. When the oil of God comes upon a man, there is an unusual mind. That is why they that tarry the presence of God are never to be compared to ordinary people. Have you used your brain? Have you used your wisdom? You want to sustain grace? You want to accept more than others? You need oil. It takes oil to differentiate one believer from another. The oil of grace is what you did not labor for. What you did not plan for God to give you. The oil of grace is a gift. I am operating in that grace because it is not what I am doing that I am saying. What I am doing is not compared to the grace. So you just do normal which is taught. We do the normal protocols, do the normal practices. But the best is where the oil of grace comes upon a man. And I see the oil coming upon you. And that is the grace we are enjoying it today. That is the grace we enjoy. That's what we talk about in this place. That there is an unusual oil that when it flows, it does make things to work. These are the, that is the kind of oil that makes ordinary man to become a I don't know who you are, but there is a change of story for you. Because the oil flows. And this early morning, I saw myself giving people oil on the head. I saw it happening. I saw oil flowing. I saw grace flowing. That's why we ask ourselves. Like some of the testimony we see last week. You see the testimony, somebody telling you, when I stepped into that place, I said, God, do something for me, and God did something. And this is a testimony we will see in future. And when the brother told me, Pastor, what I'm seeing is not what I did. I said, what I am enjoying is actually not what I did. That is called grace that is flowing. And I see the oil flow this morning. How many of us want to tap into that grace? Let Kabo Shali Ablabo Salibaros. Barato Shari Brother Shikali Ablabo Kabo Shata. Before we worship God, I want somebody to come and hey God. You just know that if I give you this microphone now, you will be able to call God those names that move him. Because God wants to change somebody's story in this service. You just know that whether in Ibo or in Bini or in Isha or in Nesako, I love the one that the girl that last time. Dear, I hope you are still ready. That one that said, tia, tia, tia. So somebody that will come and hear God this morning and tell God who he is because he's Labosha. <laughs> Put your foot on your name to his teeth. And will be anywhere. Mama, can you see beyond what? Oh, I give my sister that they didn't want. If you want the ring now, if you want my money, oh, no, my life was for me, you for a hundred. Or the only thing I did. I know what to do with my uncle. Oh, yeah. Oh, me, oh, me. I'm not a lawyer. The God I never 
say, the God of Neverland, the lilies of the valley, the rose of Sharon, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the creator of the world. Dios es inteligente Dios da conocimiento Dios da consejo Dios da poder Dios es eterno desde ahora para siempre a la mamá un colina o que me da o que me lo muestra o que me muestra Ah, 
Ramachi, a cura de 73, y el fallo, 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 el Refuse to let you be. He's not only going to trek, he's going to trek on the sloping ground. Before he gets to your house, you wake up. In the name of Jesus. I took it as my prayer point, though. Which is flat. So that they can cover so many kilometers a night. The kind wish that they sent to follow you. This time it won't fly out. Because the winds are broken. This time it's not just striking up. We are going to put a head up. He's going to begin to fly. Ali Bosha, a Kutu Labrador, a Snoopy Grand, he won't go for where, he won't go for where, he won't go for where, he won't go. Spiritual hold up. That is the one that is catching your witch this morning. 